Today I'd like to sit down and discuss former kickboxer, current misogynist, Andrew Tate. Andrew Taint. Andrew Taint. Tate. Tate. Andrew Taint. Tate. 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 It's Tate. Tate. Found a compilation video that's got a bunch of, uh, Andrew Tate's controversial opinions. And I'd like to go through that with you today. Let's see what he's got to say. Life for a man is harder than life for a woman. When we're already starting out a little rough. We need to have a lot of shit to be an important man. To be a woman, you need makeup. If you're truly beautiful, you don't need anything else. Do you need to have a lot of shit to be an important man? I don't think you need to have stuff to be important. I've been on boats in Dubai with 19 year old Moldovan girls. The guy who got that boat needed a hundred million dollars. That bitch, <laughs> makeup. Same boat. That's how hard it is. I don't think he's giving men enough credit here. We can put on a little makeup. We can look good. We can go for the boat. If you're the kind of person who feels like they need therapy, you're useless. Because in the harshest realities of this cold world, there are people in Syria whose entire families have been blown to fuck, who are still getting up every day, making fucking bread and selling it on the streets so they have enough money to buy a new pair of sandals sometime next year. If you're somebody in Syria under those kind of conditions, you're going for food. You're not going for mental health. You're focusing on step one before you get to step two. I think Andrew's a little bit misplaced on this one. Can we go back to that? If you're the kind of person that thinks you need therapy, you are useless. If you're the kind of person who feels like they need therapy, you're useless. The fuck is he talking about? I don't think I agree with that statement, Andrew. All right, let's see what else he's got. What is Tate's advice for guys below six feet? Okay, now this applies to me. This is important. I am below six feet, well below six feet. Uh, let's see what Andrew Tate has to say. It's absolutely ridiculous to go through life wishing you're something you're not. The chessboard is the chessboard. It doesn't matter if you're five foot nine, five foot seven, five foot two. That's who you are. So you can be the best version of yourself and own it, or you can become an insecure bitch about it. Is he at a gym right now? Like, what is going on in the background of this clip? This feels so out of place. This just feels like distracting from the main point that he's talking about. I can't even focus on whatever the hell he's saying at this point. I'm just too distracted by whatever the fuck is going on in the background. Let's get on with it, Andrew. Never say going to bed. Going to bed is emasculate. Cowards need sleep. Cowards need sleep? Going to bed is emasculate? What? Going to bed is emasculate. Well, I'm texting you, you beautiful girl, but I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You know what I like to say at fucking quarter past one in the morning? I'm going to work. Work? At this time, money never sleeps, baby. Then I go to bed. The fuck is Andrew doing at one in the morning? Who is he talking to at one in the morning? This guy has got to just be masturbating. <laughs> Cowards need sleep. Men do not need sleep. If you're a man, you don't sleep. Real men do not sleep, period. This is a fact. I've never seen a man asleep. This is true. Somebody show me a man asleep because I've just never seen one. Money never sleeps, baby. Then I go to bed. When a man gets up at four in the morning to go carry garbage to earn a good wage, he ain't thinking, I'm going to do this so I can oppress that bitch because she's broke. <laughs> He's doing it thinking so I can provide for my family so my woman can stay at home and raise my kids and have nice nails while I'm out here carrying trash. You go to a coal mine. Those dudes are not down there thinking about oppressing women. They're down there thinking about providing for women. It does seem like Andrew Tate is trying to oppress women, right? Like, I'm not the only one that kind of sort of sees this and... uh Feels like he's probably a, a relic from the past with an older sense of view. I say all the time, your friends should bring out the worst in you. And when I say the worst, I mean, you know, when you're with your boys and you're loud, and you feel aggressive and you're about it and you'll talk to that bitch. Who cares if she says no? Who cares if she says no? I think people are going to care, Andrew. I think people are going to care a lot. They bring out the worst in you because you don't give a fuck anymore. Because what used to happen evolutionarily is when large groups of men got together, you charged at the enemy. You ran at the spear. Is he saying that there's not global conflict? Because, Andrew, there's quite a bit of global conflict going on right now. We don't even use spears anymore. We use nuclear warheads, which are a lot more destructive than spears. So you're a slave if you have a job in any form. Some slaves are better paid than others, but most people are slaves. You're a slave if you have a job in any form. Any form. This man is a complete lunatic. All right. Let's see what else he's got. Why are some countries more depressed than others? Mm. Explain why some countries have no depression and some countries have a bunch of depression. First off, I don't think there's any country that has no depression. That's just not true. That's simply not true. The countries that have less depression, though, are the countries that deal with the depression. <laughs> They're not the countries that are suppressing this idea. I moved the chair and now I can't get it back in the same spot. I felt like I was too low. I can't tell. Is this right? Was this where I was before? All right. Anyway, 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 let's let's get back to this Andrew Tate thing. And anyone who sits here and tells me, well, depression's real. You're telling me that your mindset is weak and I'm not going to adopt the thinking of weaklings. Fuck Andrew Tate. Why is he attacking depression? For, all right. All right. 
He's attacked sleep, depression. What's next? Michael Jackson was anything less than a G. And now all these kids are coming out going, he touched me, he touched me. Let me tell you something. If you were a parent and you let your kid stay around Michael Jackson's house, and now you want to come here and be all upset your kid got touched. Who cares? Get over it. Is he attacking children that were molested by Michael Jackson? I'm very confused. Why is Andrew Tate talking about children that were molested? by Michael Jackson. I want to know the context of this interview. Why would he even bring this up? Why is he talking about this? That was a video looking a bit into Andrew Tate. I was very curious about uh, him as a person and I have to say I pretty much disdain him. Yeah, I, he's even worse than I expected him to be and I expected him to be fairly bad. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.